I've been the organist at the stadium since 1971. This is my 34th year. When I started here, the only music in the stadium was me. Before me in uh, 71, when the, station, when the stadium opened in 66, they had a strolling four-piece musical Dixieland group. And uh, they decided they were going to upgrade the sound system to hi-fi, so they decided to install an organ. So that was me. Yeah, there's a lot of memories here. Of course, the first thing that comes to mind, memories are Gussie Bush, who was the godfather of the brewery and the godfather of the Cardinals when he bought the team. And of course, Jack Buck. And a lot of memories, a lot of people I got to meet and talk to here, ex-baseball players in the 40s and 50s. People that I listened to on radio, or listened to the games on the radio in the 40s when I was a kid. And I got the honor to meet them and talk to them before they passed on to their next expression. Enos Slaughter, Terry Moore, uh, outfielders for the Cardinals. Whitey Karowski, Marty Marion, of course Stan Musial, he's still in town. We, we, I'm hired to play parties, private parties, and Stan's a guest, or Mike Shannon's a guest, and so we get to entertain a lot of people. Stan Musial on his harmonica with me on the piano, that's a riot. <laughs> I should have taken piano lessons in February of 1942, and uh, I took to it right away. By the time I was 13, after having seven years of classic training, my dad retired from General Motors in St. Louis, and mom and dad took and drug me along when they moved back to the small town that they were raised in. I graduated in the same high school that they did. And I made my first bucks as an entertainer when I was 13 years of age as a gospel quartet accompanist. That was a long time ago. And it's, uh, I had my own band on network TV. It's been a long road, but I've enjoyed it. I mean, I don't even know one day to the next or one minute to the next what song I'm going to play. My hands just start working. I say, yeah, let's do that one. It's really that way. I, hey. I don't know what's coming out of these fingers next. I consider I'm using a gift from God, and it's divine providence, divine inspiration that makes these things work. And I have no clue, I'm serious, I have no clue what's coming out next. But I recognize it when it comes out. <laughs> And yes, they're going to take the organ to the new stadium. They've already asked me for my input for my new space. See, I'm one of these weirdos, not only music education and music degree, but engineering degree. So the, they showed me the blueprints, and I said, yeah, how about this, 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 this? So yeah, I'm going to have the same instrument over there next year. I'm Right now, I'm at the third base end of the press box. Next year, I'm going to be at the first base end of their press box, so I'll have to look over my right shoulder to watch the game rather than my left shoulder. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm John Hewitt, and welcome to Bush Stadium for today's game between the Chicago Cubs yeah! and your National League champion, St. Louis Cardinals. It's been a while since we've seen you all. Good to have baseball back in St. Louis. Well, as long as my health holds out, as long as the Cardinals want me to continue, and as long as they want to put green in my palm, I'll probably hang in there because it's something I love to do. So that's what I do.
I'm, I share God's talent with as many people as I can, either in performance or in education, and it just makes my whole day.